Hello, welcome to the Mobius Archives. This is your host, Mobius Rex, and we are playing the Refugee into Regent Challenge using the Feed the Beast Infinity mod pack, plus a whole lot of mods. Woo. All right. I am out here on the edge of our city here. Um, just taking a little bit of a survey of a small strip of land we have. We have a nice flower out here, a nice large mushroom. And a little tree. This is all the way out on the edge here, but it's perfectly safe. There's no... I just pressed F7. There's no uh, mob areas where mobs can spawn or anything like that. So this is nice. Um, we have a little bit of... Well, this is actually a chunk boundary area for when I reset the world. But I think we'll actually be able to use that quite nicely. Uh, we still have a little bit of building to do underneath um, this wall. It's floating right now. I'm safe on the outside, I think. Is it closed off on the outside? Yeah, it's closed off on the outside. Uh, but we have to uh, put a little bit of supports down here. Ooh, and get that clay. I want that clay. We need more clay, because I need more bricks. We need more bricks for the uh, Cartman's tinkery. Well, who would have thought Cartman would have become an engineer? Alright. So, today... What we are going to do is actually get started on making a guest house. I uh, just want to put something small and nice out in this area. Uh, I'm thinking of you making something like a tiki hut type style. Uh, maybe with a couple rooms, a bedroom, a uh, living room, and a kitchen. Uh, so when the guests come to visit, they have some place to stay. That's pretty nice. And I'm just going to put it out here so it's... Nice and quiet and separated from the city, but close enough that they can get back to it. And they get a path through our gardens here. Um, so that should be, uh, that should be pretty nice. We will need, however, a few supplies. Like wood. Wood would be helpful. And just swinging into our lumberjack shack. Or mansion. Um, just grab, I think. Let's grab. Oh, I'm out of space. There we go. Uh, let's grab a couple stacks so I can come back for more if we need to. I can probably start working on making automated tree farms and stuff like that for the Lumberjack. Possibly move our entire tree farm system out of the city. Um, I'm going to have to get tree breeding started again. That requires a little bit more bees than we are currently using. So that could all be possibly potentially automated. Especially with uh, thermal dynamics being able to pipe everything up into the house and into that storage chamber there once we have uh once we have stuff all right but back to the wood to the um tiki hut so i'm thinking let's see might as well get this started maybe right about here that'll be the first support i want it to be a uh, Maybe seven this way, and uh, five that way. No, five, seven that way, nine that way. Just to give him a nice large first room. So this is going to be on top of supports, as opposed to built into the supports. Uh, most of our other wood buildings are built into the supports, so you can see in the uh, Lumberjack's Mansion, the supports are right into the beams. This one is just floating on top of it. Um... Obviously dangerous, but uh, we are in a harbored area, so it shouldn't happen, right? Well, ask pe real people who have been through real events, so sometimes happens. Uh, one of my friends was actually getting married, and uh, after one of the tsunamis, or there was an earthquake, and one of the tsunamis actually wiped out the entire little village thing like this in, I think it was Hawaii. Um, so obviously it was an artificial resort type village, but um, it completely destroyed the place and they had to uh, move their wedding somewhere else. Alright, that's a nice little start. And I'm thinking since this is a little guest house, and maybe something of that resort nature. The outside will be nice, nice and uh, primitive looking, but the inside will be filled with the modern day accoutrements. Like maybe we'll have 
a see-through floor uh, so they can see fish swimming about. Maybe we'll get started with mar mariculture today and actually figure out how to get fish swimming about. Or at least a variety, more of a variety of fish um, than we are currently catching. Yeah. Yeah, maybe something like that. Uh, do I want a 3x3? Three 2x3. Two 2x3 three? Two three. Two three I think will be fine. It'll just be something off to the side. Um, obviously we're going to need walls. I'm thinking maybe a double wooden door entrance right here. Like that. And like that. This is mostly symbolic. Um, because I kind of want an open air design out here. Um, so we'll have it like that, but most of the walls are going to be open. Uh, so I'm going to put a little bit roofing like that. I don't, hmm. I want darker woods. Um, do we have any dark oak? We do have that tree. I don't know if we've been harvesting any. Are you a great wood? You're a dark oak or a great wood? Dark oak. All right, let's see about harvesting that gr dark wood. Uh, I don't see any here. All right, taking down this tree. And that does at least give us some of these great, these dark oak wood saplings. Oh, I hope I don't have to do this in a 4x4. Do I? I hope not. Um, looking for bone meal. I don't have any on me or any bones. Don't think. Nope. Um, hmm. We'll just leave that at that and maybe have to hunt down another dark oak wood tree. Um, if that doesn't grow, we don't have enough saplings. Uh, so I'm not going to go and uh, set this up in our tree farming area. So might as well get started here with the wood that we do have. And I just wanted to get that... Yeah, just like that. Let's get half stack. And we'll just try to go for the minimum amount that we need. Don't know whether this will cover everything that I want. Just like that. And I'll do the same on the other side. This is where scaffolds come in. Especially when you don't want to fall off. All right, there's your basic structural frame. Um, whoops. Yeah, we don't want our friends to go in here. <laughs> Unless they really want to. Yeah, they could go outside. Um, hmm, let's see. And on top, I'm thinking... It's just slabs. Yeah. Oh, I should finish this side off. Thinking slabs with a hole right above there. Slightly larger. I'm going to do the slabs with a 3x3. 3 3x3 3. Uh, 3 3 hole there. Then they could get a little bit of rain inside. Actually, I'm going to stick it to the 2x2 two two that we have down below. Um, it seemed to be like it should be fine, and we don't want to get the uh, guests too, too wet. If this was a tropical country, I might suggest um, them sleeping out there, but it is not. It's not dry. Or maybe tropical wouldn't be the right place. Uh, a dry country. They could sleep outside, but right now, who knows when rain might start. So actually, we can just have a little fishing hole down there if they really want to do some indoor fishing. And maybe this, so they can get in easily, and I can get in easily. Hole in the roof. And gives them some lanterns to light up the inside so that no mobs can spawn. What type of vacation would that be if a mob spawned in here? There we go. And let's see. And a place for windows. It's not bad. It's starting to look more like a... A regular old houseboat right now, as opposed to a tiki shack. I guess we could live with that. Yeah, this is starting to take place nicely. And I'm thinking instead of a glass here, I'm going to use fencing. So it's something like that. It's a little bit more primitive looking. Well, a certain chisel would have something more for us, but... Like so. And I think what I'm going to do is make a simple kitchen back here. 5 by 5 room. 
Can we do that? Five by five. And that's nestled right up against the wall. Just like so. We'll have a little bit of an entrance here. Uh, maybe a three wide entrance. Why not? Next, I want this section here to be slabs again. Like so. And uh, the walls don't need to be that high. The floor does have to be complete. Now we do have a size limitation because of our proximity to the wall. Um, so I am just going to leave it at three high or two high. Top it off with slabs instead of planks. Uh, just like so. Everything looks sort of consistent. And it matches closer to what we have there. And get ourselves a few more dark oak stairs to wrap this up. All right, your basic drippy shack. But it's a basic start. All right, um, I think we might want a pillar here as well. Whoops. And maybe more windows. Actually, why don't we just close, close up this side? There's not much to see on this side. Uh, unless you want to see the person in there. Just have, what, where do I want the beds to go? Maybe this will just be a two by two and we could close that up more. And then the beds will be nice and toasty here. They could get up, fall in the water. Or maybe instead of falling in the water, we give them a few stairs to get down closer to it. That'll be the room's feature. Actually, I accidentally did something that looked really nice. We'll rip these out and replace them with dark oak wood stairs. There we go. Yeah, that gives us a nice little feature. Add a bed in there. And then wrap that up with a nice little bit of windows. A little bit more fencing for that. Just like so. All right, so the interior work on this one, I think is complete. We do need to do some work on this side. There we go. All right, and we can take this and we can find it, crafting table. Put this in here. That's our, the start of our cooking station will need an oven or a furnace, iron furnace preferably. Uh, so that means we'll need a power cell down here. Or not iron furnace, redstone furnace, because it's a modern age and, or the redstone age. And we now have redstone furnaces. Get them a fry pan and a couple other things. I want to give them a double chest for food. We'll need to get decorations and stuff like that, but this will be a good start to a little guest house here. Now, I wanted to get them some stuff for uh, mariculture because it's a little bit of a fishing thing. So, oh, there we go. Fishing and breeding. So what we can do, I can remove this now. What we can do is out here, give them a little bit of a, I'll need another crafting table. And I'm just going to put that down here. I'll need more string than I currently have. Anybody see any? What was that? Yeah, zombies after me. <laughs> Let's get rid of this rain. I know it as much as you guys have enjoyed it. Zombies and rain. Well, I don't like zombies. There was something running around there that I don't know what it was. So I'll be smart enough to go back in the water. And die. Thank you. Alright, let's see about getting uh, a sifter for this guy. Alright, so we have the fishing net. Get one of those. And the sifter. It's like that. Just place it down. I don't know if I need two or just one. Two. There we go. Sifter. Nice. Now the sifter, I wonder if I have any, not in my diggers. And we can in fact go ahead and put fishing nets inside of our, the rest of the fishing nets inside of our house here and those will catch fish. Uh, here we can actually take some dirt and just right click on here and sometimes 
we'll get some of this bait that's dropping here. So we got some worms and we got some ant bait. And that we can actually use. So this can't use ant bait, or it can't use worm bait, but it can use ant bait. And we can just fish a little bit. And there we go, we have some fish. Nice. Cook that, cook that up inside. And so we might as well hang the fishing rod right by the door here. Uh, put that drying rack up there, and the fishing rod right there. Um, and maybe, I'm not supposed to be using this for that, for making stuff, but maybe another drying rack, and we could put some of these goggles, snorkels, up here as well. All right. This has been Mobius Rex from Mobius Archives. Thank you very much for watching. If you enjoyed the episode, leave us a like, leave us your comments and suggestions. We'll be back with you next time. Have a good day and a wonderful night. Bye-bye.